सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस आयुषी त्यागी हु इज करेंटली इंटर्न एट मर्सरीज बेंच एंड हैज गॉट हर पी पी यू सो टूडे शी विल बी शेयरिंग हर एक्सपीरियंस विद अस सो आयुषी हेलो Hi, Manish. Yeah. So, shall we start with your introduction? Yeah, sure. So, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Aisha Gandhi, and I'm currently doing my bachelor's in technology and computer science from KIT Group of Institutions. It's in it is situated in Ghaziabad, and I will be graduating in July 2023. And as you all know, that I am interning as a software development intern in mercedes benz research and development area so yeah that's about me yeah right so first uh, i'll ask that how you applied for mercedes okay so as i say that um, i'm very passionate of solving problems and i love to participate in hackathons so we got this opportunity from one of the hackathon which was Conducted in March 2022 itself, it was conducted by Mercedes Benz and Deccan Herald in collaboration. So it was named Hackstar Bangalore. So yeah, we got this opportunity from the Nindi Hackathon Hackstar Bangalore 2023. Okay, so how did you get to know that hackathon is going on? Okay, so um, we have one club in our college which is in our village. and we have a one whatsapp group regarding that only so one of us senior um, just passed on the message that we this uh, hackathon is going on and anyone is interested so just can register it so this hackathon was on hack, uh, hacker earth platform yes. so we uh, first of all we were not uh, like interested to register but at the last point we registered in this hackathon uh and it was also there like we were not eligible to participate in this at the time because it was mostly for the karnataka state people or the south uh, states so but we asked in the uh, forum like if they came section we asked them you know, that are shall we uh, like we had an idea should we like register ourselves and should we go through with that So they said, yeah, if your idea will be suitable, you know, there's no point of like not uh, moving forward, and you will be eligible for that. So like we were on the last day, and we got eligible for this hackathon. It was like, like it was meant to be in North Cities, maybe I guess. So yeah. Amazing. So, uh, what was your idea, like? Ah, uh, so. Like our I uh, hackster Bangalore was like uh, to there were some problem statements and the, all the problem statements were evolving around like how to uh, make a Bangalore smart city till two thousand forty. So so like they have you know, like steps in this hackathon. So first was the idea submission round. Okay. So in idea submission round. We took the problem statement regarding the road safety. So, like in uh, road safety, we figure that most of the accidents happening in Bangalore are like because of the pedestrians. Like most pedestrians don't get the footpath or pavement to travel because they were blocked by vehicles. So the problem statement was like to uh, like how to ensure that uh, pedestrians would travel safely because pedestrians not only include like adults they also include children and old age people. So it's very um, like feasible problem statement and uh, which we triggered and because of this problem statement we got eligible for uh, for the rounds of the hackathon. Okay, so. How long it was your hackathon? Ah, uh, so like the registration started in February. I will tell you that we registered in the last days of March because and like it was till six or third or fourth March. Yeah, so we registered there and uh, first round was the idea submission. 
and our idea got shortlisted um like we were in top 10 ideas so in the after that we got an opportunity to make present our idea in front of the jury uh, of mercedes benz like the highly executed people from there from mercedes benz like from management people and like the department which i am in my head of the part meant uh, was there in a jury panel itself so yeah so that was like 10 to 15 minutes round so in that round we presented our idea like solution regarding the problem statement which i told and uh, uh, yeah they asked like back questions to us all five to six jury members were interested in our idea because this is that this is the problem uh, which panduru has faced a lot like bangalore has for part everywhere and uh, now i'm living in bangalore right now it's it so i'm like yeah these are blocks so our problem statement was like quite um uh, you can say eligible for the hackathon and they asked us like how how we made this more like the home done in machine learning model regarding this integrated with the web app so like they asked some uh, questions regarding the there were technical questions there were questions regarding the future scope there were questions regarding the team so every um, holistic concept they covered and uh, regarding questions they asked so yeah after that um, in uh, it was this round was conducted in 8th or 9th of march i guess and we got uh, the results like in the evening itself so yeah we got a first prize so yeah we had like two rounds we think said all right okay so was there any uh, part of coding ah so like part of coding the project is all about development so like um we were four team members so some of them contributed in machine learning model which we made for this problem statement and i myself was involved in the web part so like the front end and the back end so we used flask we used react for making the uh, our uh, application and we integrated it with the flask using the machine learning so yeah in the it was involved around coding if you know development then it it is around coding and it's it well right so now you are doing intern at mercedes right so how is it going oh <laughs> well so uh, it's going to now it's very awesome because it was my make on uh, during covid and before covid i had an intern so it like in an online mode only so like i was not knowing how to how you work in a corporate life by coming to the office so it was nice to have an office experience like in the intern itself because once you get into the uh, after graduation you come to the fresh place in uh, office it's like you are not knowing the environment and you got so much like people around you that you don't know how to perform how to make learn there so internship is the best part to happen in uh, like wherever you are interning if it's, it's an office because we learn how you do the development how the code works how we think a, a team is involved by building the product and you'll be in the learning stage so i guess internship is the best part because you are still a learner but in parallel you are working also so yeah right so how many days do you go office in a week uh so we have like five days work from office and especially for interns uh, we are not allowed to take work from home because it's uh, mostly saying that uh, we we have been in pandemic for like one and a half year and that is known as covid batch so, so like <laughs> So like they were, they said that you should know how to like work in an environment where you can collaborate more and like it's so good. I will say so like five days in work from office. We have like um, it's like working as a full time employee only because 
since I am in college, it's a very new evolution for me. So I'm loving it. So yeah. Very nice. So, okay. So tell us something about your college. Ah, uh, so my college is in Gaziabad, and I'm currently in my fourth year of college. My college is like has evolved like quite, I would say, drastically because like we have now a hackathon culture in our college. But uh, college is it's just a great experience for if every engineering student you like learn uh involved in college so i would say that my college helped me a lot um like in first year of my college itself i joined one technical club the society of our college which was in Greece. so there we, um we met people of like-minded like uh like they were always focused around like how to enjoy the technology, how to learn in a enjoyable way, how to evolve around like how to improve your expertise in one skill. So this hackathon uh, culture we had in our college was like built from this club in our weeks only because I think that uh, we need seniors uh, like who have experience, right? Like, we, in first year of our college, we don't know, like, what we want to do. We just know that we are taking computer science and we will be starting it. But we don't know, like, how can we evolve in computer science? How to, like, participate in our, like, to, like, learn these skills, which, like, we take steps. Because we know in engineering, there is no end of learning, right? So, how to, um, this class is the most important, crucial part of my college, apart from the other academics and all. So I would say that like joining any technical clubs or any extracurricular activity in your college helps you a lot. So, yeah. Okay, I see. Could you tell what kind of projects you have uh, made till now? Ah, uh, sure. So like my projects are involved through hackathon phase only like i have very less uh you can say personal projects so i like to solve projects and team so my projects are involved around like the web learning web stack and the machine learning stuff like the hackathons which we participated in were always around like the web technologies or the um in there i have focused mostly on react now in internship, I'm learning uh, onto the front end part only. So I have learned the cloud computing also. Some of my projects are like connected to the cloud and uh, I have done uh, various projects on cloud computing as well. So, yeah. Okay. So how do you feel after getting into Mercedes? <laughs> getting into Mercedes is itself a great achievement i would say but at the same time you have the doors open for learning i would say because this is totally a different field you know when we think that if a person is in computer science how he or she would end in universities like we have thought of fan only or like adobe or something like big companies but no one would think of universities so Mercedes, everyone thinks it's an open opening and like what's the work of a software engineer in Mercedes? But that software engineer is like the pace for the clients because uh, we have products uh, like, you know, there are Mercedes, in, not everywhere, but in the world. So I, like uh, there are products which connect that car to the user. And for connecting that product, the car, to the user, we need some application to build. So there the role of software engineer comes in Mercedes. So we are building products, the applications for the users for their ease and flow uh, journey to Mercedes. Yeah. Okay. So now it's time to uh, conclude the session. So uh, could you suggest some advice to the students who are getting who are preparing for uh, placements or get want to get internship 
Yeah, sure. So I would say that never stop learning and be consistent. Whatever you are doing right now, in your, whether you are in your placements or in second year, first year, just don't stop exploring. Just try to learn everything you can and try to make interest in like one of two things. Like I have interest in development. So I participated in hackathon. So that was like key. you have to be like uh, persistent throughout the journey. It's not like that you have to work from your third or fourth year itself. Because you have uh, like now I would say that consistency is the key to success. So I would suggest that when the, you are sitting in your placements or in second or third year, Try to devote some or little bit time uh, to development or DSA if you are focusing on or any projects you are making on. So, yeah. Okay. So, thank you, IC, for joining us today. It was such a wonderful session with you. We have got many things to learn from you and uh, we wish all the very best to your future. So, thank you. Yeah. So, guys, that's that was for today. So thank you everyone.